Thank you. Uh, and Mr. Martin, I also have reviewed your testimony. I want to associate myself with the remarks of the other senators here, saying that it is both poignant uh, and appalling. I can't believe that uh, U.S. citizens would face this kind of treatment abroad, particularly with countries that are allies. Um, you certainly are blessed with a very capable and effective advocate in Senator Collins. What's been your experience with some of the agencies and department of our federal government, say the State Department, for instance, in this case? Yeah, the, the individual I was dealing with with the State Department was is excellent. I mean, we have an ongoing uh, relationship with her because we wire money to him once a month. He needs money for in prison to, to buy things. Um, I can't say enough about the, the job they have done for him. And, you know, the, the government of Spain themselves, I really don't hold to blame. I mean, they, they've had an influx of, of drugs through their country, and, and they've actually l l lowered the sentencing from what I've been told from what it used to be. Um, but again, in his case, he didn't go to trial. You know, he couldn't afford trial, so he just pled out and got the, the least sentence that, that was available to him. And then the strategy is just try to work with uh, you know, his, his attorney working with the government to see if they can get him expelled and sent back. He's not a threat to anybody, you know. Do you, be, do you believe that the government of Spain is, is aware of all the facts of the case and accepts those facts as true? Honestly, don't know, Senator. I kind of doubt it, you know, that it's that big of a priority to them. He's one of many in their jails from all over the world. Uh, Ms. Steinberg, uh, you've been a prosecutor. Um, do you think it is difficult to assemble the facts in a case like this to present that to a foreign government and say, yes, he seems, this gentleman seems to have been caught red-handed, but here are the facts behind our conclusion that he was an innocent victim of a scam of a genuine drug trafficker. I think in this situation, what you'd go about doing is it wouldn't necessarily be a prosecutive um, type of endeavor, but it would be through so the relationships that we have, for example, the ICE attaches that might be in country um, to communicate with their counterparts the information that we might have that would help influence the process. Um, again, I don't have a lot of information about these particular facts, but that's generally how we would go about exchanging that information, and that's how we make the most progress, as I indicated, um, when we have these sort of international um, cases is sort of forging these positive relationships with our foreign counterparts and encouraging them to cooperate with us. Um, and that goes both ways. And Mr. Brown, what's your perspective on that? Uh, one of the things that we have done in our overall efforts under Operation Cocoon is, you know, not just shared investigative referrals. Uh, we've shared our targeting methodology with these countries, because I want to be very clear, this is not just a U.S. citizen uh, issue. Um, you know, this happens to people all over the world that are getting duped into this same thing. We just happened to stumble upon it first. Um, so a lot of these other countries, because of the level of information that we're sharing with them, have a very good understanding and are coming to a very good understanding um, that this scheme does exist. Um, as I said, where we can get our hands on potentially exculpatory information, we are doing everything we can to get that into the right hands with the foreign government. Okay. I just find it astonishing that, given what I believe is the relatively straightforward investigative matters that you would assemble the facts necessary to prove Mr. Martin's innocence um, and present it to a, such an allied country, uh, that this matter wouldn't have been resolved before now. Um, I mean, our military and our intelligence services often stand as a proxy for other countries. Our nuclear umbrella extends deterrence uh, to most countries in the world. We have an $18 trillion economy, the largest consumer economy in the world. We have a lot of leverage uh, that, at least at a minister-to-minister -minister level, we should be willing to exert. Um, and you've heard some of the senators in this hearing uh, give Mr. Brown the opportunity to uh, state the phone number or a website or what have you. Uh, I would like to state for the record that I hope any Arkansans at least, and I would su subject any Americans, uh, feel that they can contact their congressman and their senator about this. Um, in some cases, when Americans have been held unjustly as hostages, people like Congressman Del Kilde from Michigan or Congressman Ted Deutsch from Florida have been dogged advocates for their release. Um, as I know Senator Collins is a tireless advocate here, I certainly would do the same thing, and I venture that any member of this panel or the Senate would as well. 
to assemb help assemble the facts necessary and to assure it receives attention at the highest levels of the State Department. So uh, unjustly detained, often victimized senior citizens can be released promptly and, and returned home given all the massive leverage that the United States government has with uh, other governments around the world. So, uh, Mr. Martin, I'm very sorry about this, um, but I hope that all Americans uh, who have family members that fall victim to this scam know that they can contact their senator or their congressman uh, to help expedite matters as well. Thank you very much. Uh, your point is so well taken, and it's we're going to work closely with ICE. We have a list of the countries where this appears to have occurred that I'm going to be following up with Mr. Brown on. And, and if I could just uh, say as well, for the record, to reference something Senator Tilla said, I would hope the reverse would be true as well. Uh, if a foreign citizen right. uh, was in this case on American soil, uh, that our allies, uh, foreign ministers or prime ministers, would feel they can contact the, the ministers at the highest level of our government and have this resolved expeditiously because we certainly wouldn't want to have in detention foreign citizens here who are innocent uh, and innocent victims of a scam and that we would want to move matters along as promptly as possible outside the ordinary course of the criminal justice system since this is as much a matter of diplomatic relations between friends and partners as it is traditional criminal justice. Exactly. Thank you.